could wear the mask. So I am your father. Get over here! This is the way. good with it youtube it's your boy jxb2 back with another figure review and unboxing video this is the retro toy closet v2 and yeah let's get straight into this unboxing today we're going to be looking at marvel spider-man the anti ox suit from the spider-man video game ps4 ps5 it is what it is what you got what you got all right so this is the anti ox suit from the story and i decided to go with the deluxe one on this because why not it comes with some extra accessories that we will show off a little bit later in uh, the review but we're looking at the box right now this is the front of the box you get a nice image of the anti ox suit itself then you get the side of the box you get a nice spider-man logo it tells you anti ox suit and then it has the finishing effect of the web right there and then the back is your legal reasoning and then the side is some images of the anti ox suit itself finishing up the legs right there and then the top obviously just says spider-man anti ox suit and then the bottom has the spider-man uh logo from the spider-man video game so this is gonna be my first hot toy from the spider-man video game i've actually been going crazy with like spider-man lately i feel like with when it comes to hot toys i feel like i've gotten a lot recently or i have a lot coming too so yeah i might as well that's it with the box let's check out the accessories real quick Okay, so now looking at accessories for the figure, let's start off with the with the lame part. We got the diorama, or not the diorama, but the display stand for the figure. It says anti ox suit on the front. And then as you can see, there's little plugins because with the deluxe, you get these tentacle things that you're gonna plug in, which I will show later off in the video. You also get a nice little slit cover to go over it. Just in case if you don't wanna have the little octopus things on there are the doc ock claws you could just cover it up like that but if you want with the deluxe i'm pretty sure you want to display those we also get two web shooters so here's a web shooter right here uh i got i got this figure pre-owned so i'm guessing he left the one where you could attach the webbing off because this one doesn't have that piece but this one does so you could attach webbing through this one which is pretty simple i'll just grab one of these webs real quick and show it off so all you got to do is just find a little hole and plug it in. And yeah, there you go. That's how you get your nice little webbing effect right there. You also get some uh, uh, some hands to go with it. So you get these wall crawling hands. These look more like uh, getting ready to fight. These ones are for the webs, your thwipping hands right there, and then more thwipping hands. So yeah, and then the detail on these are actually pretty cool. I think so. You're also gonna get some other eye options right here. You have a wide, like a really wide open one and then they're closed a little bit right here, which is cool. And then, like I said, you get your standard uh, Hot Toys webbing, nothing special with this one. You get your little funnel right there. Uh, let's take a closer look at these Doc Ock claws because these things are sick. The only thing I worry about is these pieces because they're like very plasticky. That I feel like they're gonna fall off eventually. I don't think any have fallen off yet, so that's a good sign. But yeah, there goes those Doc Ock claws, and I think they look good. And like I said, they just plug into the base, which I'll show off a little bit later because there is a certain way you have to do it. So instead of showing off later, why not do it now? And here goes the base with those Doc Ock claws in them. So that's what it's gonna look like. I think it looks sick so when it's on the floor it looks like one's going through and one's coming up and then the other one's going to the side and then you also have your uh, nice space right there for the diorama piece but you're probably wondering on how you put them on so there's these little plug-in things right there all you do is pretty much just attach them on and this is the best way I think you could do it I'm pretty sure you could have them wherever you want but I just saw videos like this this is how I see how the the promotional pictures were so that's just how I'm going to keep them I think it looks sick this way so that's enough with the base let's pull out the figure and see what he looks like and here goes the anti-ox suit 
No crazy poses, no accessories, just straight out of the box is what it's gonna look like, except one of the web shooters is obviously has a little pour right there, which it's not gonna come like that. You're gonna have to change those out, but like I said, I got this pre-owned, so it is what it is. This figure looks amazing to me. I honestly like the black and yellow. It's simple, yes, it's very simple, but I just like how the yellow, it's vibrant. So it's really gonna bring like attention to your display and that's why I decided to pick this guy up because it's gonna bring attention to the display. Obviously, there's other suits in there that people are gonna see, but I just like the way this one looks. So let's look at the suit itself. As you can see, you're gonna get that texturizing Spider-Man logo right there in yellow. And then on the back, there's another Spider logo. It's, they're both the same. You're gonna get this nice, like just the texture on the suit is amazing. Articulation is very limited, which I'll show off in just a little bit. And then, like I said, it's all black and then there's just a little bit of yellow, but still, I like the presence of the figure and the way it looks. There goes the head scan that you get. I think I'm gonna change this out for the Limb Toys head scan, which is gonna be right there, unless I go and grab it from my dad's display so we could show it off with it later on in the video, which I might, just so you guys get an idea of what it's gonna look like, but yeah. So now, articulation, you're, it's, very standard so he could look up about that high that low there's not much articulation i feel like the best idea is if you guys are gonna try to pose them is you take off the head which you do like that and then you just kind of leave it hanging on there and then or you just slightly put it in there and you you could pose it all you want like that but it looks kind of weird so i wouldn't recommend doing it all the time uh for his arms, you get that bend right there. Looks solid. All right, same thing with the other arm. You're gonna get a bend to about there. The one thing I was bummed out about this figure is uh, the ab crunch. It's There's other Spider-Man that could do way more of an ab crunch than that, but I understand why. This suit is kind of rubbery up on the top, so it kind of limits that right there, but you can still get it. Uh, legs go on about there he has toe articulation so you could definitely have him do some cool things with them toes and yeah that's pretty much articulation right there like i said we don't really go over articulation but there is articulation in the spider-man so we'll we'll definitely check that out in a bit when we uh decide when i do my pose session you're gonna see some poses so that's cool now let's bring up the base to see what he looks like on the base. All right, and here goes the anti suit on his base. This looks amazing. It very, it's very good together. I feel like if you are going to get this figure, and if you do have the money, I would go with the Deluxe just so you get that. But if you're just getting it for the suit, then you, you do you, you do you. Honestly, I still feel like this piece is really cool. But on this base, it just looks 10 times better with those tentacles coming out of the base looking like they're ready to attack. Right now, he's just in a standard pose. I'll put him in a different pose right now. And there goes the anti suit in a different pose. I kind of just came up with something on the spot. So it looks like he's pretty much trying to wobble away from the Doc Ock tentacles, which is, I think it looks really cool. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can get that Lum Toys head sculpt. If I can't, then like, comment, and subscribe. And you know what we like to say around here, stay retro. Did the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it with a little creation of my own.